But first of all, I want to say, Bill, that was a remarkable uh, address that I've heard in a long time about a keynote. Uh, you start with uh, Briss, and we haven't heard the rest of it yet, but a uh, great story, a great story. When Richard Joel, when I joined him in, I think, 1994, to try to do something about changing the image of Hello, we didn't really like the word continuity. Because continuity is something you just keep on doing the same thing over and over again, and that doesn't seem to be very dynamic. So then we thought about rejuvenation and thought that was really a bad pun. <laughs> so then we came up with the word renaissance. The problem with that is Richard could never pronounce it, but anyway, the word stuck. And that's why we have the Renaissance Award. The Renaissance Award is given to someone who is, has a little bit of remarkable in how they have innovated and changed life and made life better for Jews. Uh, and I want you to know um, more that we have, uh, you've got a, you're joining a pretty impressive group of people. I have the list here, so I'll read them off. Previous recipients include Charles R. Bronfman, who happens to be my brother, Abby and David Cohen of um, Goldman Sachs fame, Edith and Henry Everett, Dr. Lynn Harrison, Abraham Enfield, who was our president for quite some time, Richard Joe, of course, Leonard and Toby Kaplan, Lynn Schusterman, Michael Steinhardt, Lexi Warner. Oh yeah, there was one other guy called Edgar Broth. <laughs> Morris, this evening is your evening. We know the figures, but the figures don't really tell the entire story. Morris is a most hardworking uh, chairman, we've, I mean honoree we've ever had. It's amazing how we would just pick up that telephone and use his Rolodex and call everybody and say, you just got to do this. So not only speaks well for his belief in Hillel, he speaks well for the fear that all these other people have of him. <laughs> <coughs> but it's really a great honor for me uh, to come out of sort of semi-retirement and give this honor to a very good friend, Morris Offutt, and I never realized how devoted he was to Hillel until this afternoon when we had a meeting uh, and he talked about how important Hillel was in the Jewish world with such passion that I was really very, very thrilled. 